I'll do it again. Um, technically, Herbert is here in charge again for yeah. just a moment. Does he want to take over? Maybe on Susan. Welcome. I like to call to order the Urban Renewal District Fiscal Year 24-25. Change that annual budget. Okay. Um, to order at 819. Wait, I fixed it on this the next one already on the real copy. But <laughs> yeah. Joined by all department heads and budget committee, Teresa Keller, Rita Bernhardt, line with Chris Patron, Beth Reisky is here. All counselors are here, minus Kim Holmes, who's excused absent, and Jeanette Santiago is online. Shell Brown is also online, and Sandy Wiggs as well. I am looking um, for a motion to, I recommend that Ty Bailey be the chairperson for the Urban Renewal Budget Committee. I nominate Ty <laughs> Bailey. I second that nomination. Second by Agent Miller. Any discussion? Ma All those in favor, say by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries, and I'll hand this over to Mr. Bailey. All right. It's a pleasure seeing you all here. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we will kick things off by uh, looking for an approve or uh, motion to approve the uh, previous URA minutes from. I make a motion to approve the urban renewal minute meetings from May 10, 2023. I was going to say, is that right? That is right. Okay, cool. Seconded uh, by Council <clears throat> Tubbs. All right. Uh, any discussion? Um, can I get my last name fixed? <laughs> Thank you. And we are agents now, not counselors. Oh, right. Sorry. That's have changed. Like agents. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. All right, moving over to the budget message for the Urban Renewal District. Passing to uh, Larry. Uh, again, I'm uh, pleased to serve as the budget officer for the Campus Urban Renewal Agency. The Urban Renewal budget includes $1.5 million towards a new $3 million Keys Reservoir project. This contribution to the reservoir project saves the Campus residents a 5 to $6, 5 to 6 percent increase in the water rates. It also contributes to the goal of the urban renewal to improve the infrastructure needed for future improved developments. It is anticipated the district will contribute another five to six hundred thousand in next fiscal year budget to provide twenty one percent of the cost of this project. The twenty one percent is based on the percentage of, percentage of land within the urban renewal boundary uh, compared to the city boundary. Funding the Keys Reservoir does not change the limit of total urban renewal funding. And the maximum of $37 million. It continues the business incentive program to assist existing businesses to improve or expand their operations. Okay. Basically, what we have is uh, the council the other day uh, approved uh, expanding the urban renewal uh, district to include the Keys Reservoir. That area now has been annexed in to the urban renewal district. Uh, and at the same meeting, then they obligated. Uh, uh, Little over, well, 21% of the cost of the <coughs> reservoir coming from urban renewal. So if you look on page 13 uh, of that. And let me explain the extra sheets just so okay. they, uh, yeah. Um, you guys all got a set of extra sheets um, that have slightly different numbers on them. And um, basically, I gave you all the sheets that changed the. When we did the annexation of the Keats Reservoir, we were expecting to get basically the same amount of revenue this year or next year as we did this year. That was what our thought was based on the Cascade Tissue property value. 
we found out uh, after this was all put together uh, that that uh, just kind of by chance, we never quite know what's going to have property taxes. We can generally predict how much we're going to get. But with the urban renewal, the Cascade Tissue property has gotten rid of all of their or taken out all of their equipment. And so basically the state let Andrea um, at the at the uh, tax assessor's office to that the that it's going to go down by probably about $40 million, which is about half of, you know, a little less than half. And so we kind of came up with a different projection. So we aren't going to have quite as much extra money this next year uh, as we had this year. Uh, but last year, we didn't think we were going to get any of this. We thought it was going to be about 235, you know, um, you know it's going to be a, a much smaller number. So, um, so I gave you new sheets, and I just didn't want to just send them to you and say, this isn't just in there, but I did change all the sheets to adjust to reduce the amount of revenue that we're expecting from property taxes. We did also reduce by you know, um, you know, $100,000, the amount that we're expecting to put toward the, um, the reservoir. So, so some of the numbers changed and we could have probably left it at what it was, but I, we wanted the budget document to be closer to what we really were expecting than, you know, to just leave it the way it was. So that's why the pages changed. So we just got that information last week, I believe. So last year we estimated, or the current fiscal year, we estimated we were going to get in eight hundred fifty-six thousand dollars in the urban renewal. The new estimate for this coming year now we're lowering it to five hundred thousand because of that. Uh, and then, so of that, uh, that gives us then roughly the uh, the one eight million dollars available. We're, uh, we're budgeting uh, 107,000 there for that, for the business uh, uh, incentives. And then $1.5 million we transferred then for the Keys project. Now with the anticipation, we think it's gonna be 2.1 million in total. We don't know that. But if it is the next fiscal year, we would hopefully transfer another 500 to 600,000 to make up the balance for the Keys Reservoir. That's the urban renewal budget. Question I have is, is kind of looking through this, you know, your property taxes on the urban renewal are pretty uh, basic. And then we got Cascade Tissues came in and that added almost $600,000 in the one year. Um, and it was half of it was basically the building and half of it was all the equipment inside. All that equipment is now gone. So the, the 300,000 for property and land, we should still see on top of the 236 approximately we got the year before. So that's where you're budgeting 500,000. Yes. And again, it's an estimate, but the answer is yes. And now we the new businesses, obviously the food carts are in urban renewal, I believe. Yes, they are. That will start going in there. But I don't expect they're going to be really much. huge, but not like the cascade tissue, but. And we would expect that all the property in there would go up that 3%. And we're going to. Does the food cards actually work in terms of this kind of thing? Since how are they taxed anyway? Just the property. The property. The property itself. Okay. And then, then the building he built on there on the property, but the food cards themselves, I don't think they are. No, because they could be taken off the property essentially. Um, I don't know how the taxing on that works, but a little different. Well, we'll learn a lot more and. Yeah. September, October, when they get the, the tax rolls <laughs> done. I'm just excited to have them. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, when it, when we do find out the real numbers, I mean, if we have to spend less towards the reservoir, we, will, we aren't going to spend more than we've got. So. And we don't expect, I guess, Dave, that, I mean, are we going to have any big outlay this next year for the reservoir? We start 
making payments on it within the next budget? Yeah, so the reservoir is um, slated to go to construction this coming summer and will be completed the following. So all of the expenditures will be looking to kick out by a year and a half from now, December probably, for com total completion. So all of the funding mechanisms would need to be in place for them. But as far, I think, as this goes, that next round of tax revenue will come in in time to, to make that payment. That kind of where you're going with yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Other questions from folks who haven't been as steeped in uh, urban renewal the past, like, month and a half as some <laughs> of us? <laughs> I do plan on trying to have some kind of training in July or August sometime later in the year, maybe bring in Andrea to get a better understanding how companies are taxed and, and how the funding is done, um, and especially talking about compression. And we'll make sure you guys all have a, a date or an invite if you're interested in learning more about urban renewal. And, and actually, Andrea had told me on the phone the other day that it, it's conceivable that this change to cascade tissue could eliminate the compression. So we just don't know that until we do all the all the numbers. Uh, any comments, questions? Just to let them know, we do have a, the incentive program um, for grants. We're putting in another 25 to 30,000. So after this year, we'll have 107, 108,000 in that. Right now we are looking at three grant applications, I think in our next July urban renewal meeting. Well then, uh, I would entertain a motion to approve the uh, urban renewal budget as uh, presented. Chair, I move that we adopt the budget as uh, hearing a motion, do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Agent Santiago. I remembered. All right. Uh, any discussion? All right. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. Motion carries. If I could, I'd like to add, uh, I've been a uh, city manager for 34 years, so I've done 34 budgets, never won this fast. Good job. Well, I thank the, I thank the departments and department head for very well-defined and understandable information and answer our questions coming up to this point and the budget committee diving in before tonight and looking at it and asking questions. It all helps. I, I again, appreciate everyone reading ahead and going through the elements, had a few conversations. Also, thank you for a bunch of clarity on things we've asked in the past to bring through, because compared to other budgets, this is very legible. <laughs> thank you. All right, with that said, uh, we'll close at 8.32. Thank you. Thank you.